These exercises have been designed to work out your upper and lower body as you continue receiving your dialysis treatment. They are simple movements that are safe to perform once you have been instructed by the physiotherapist. I'd like you to start with one set of 12 repetitions for each exercise. Your physiotherapist will guide you throughout and adjust the intensity of the exercise to suit your capacity as you improve. This video provides instruction on all exercises. Your therapist will create you an individual program and select the appropriate exercises from this list to suit your needs. We believe the exercises will help to increase your physical strength, mobility and overall well-being. We will start with the upper body exercises. So this exercise is the dumbbell bicep curl. So we're going to hold on to the dumbbell with our palm facing the ceiling. We have our arm resting by our side. Lift your arm up so your hands just off the bed. Bend your elbow up so your arm comes as close to your shoulder as you can whilst keeping your elbow by your side. And then slowly down so that your hand almost touches the bed but doesn't. And then up to your shoulder, slowly down. Up to your shoulder, slowly down. So this is the dumbbell shoulder press. So for this exercise, you're gonna take hold of your dumbbell, bring your shoulder up so that your palms are facing forward and that your arm is parallel to the floor. And then you press up till your elbow is straight, come back down so your arm's parallel to the floor, up so your arm is straight, back down parallel to the floor. So this exercise is the dumbbell tricep extension. So we're going to take hold of our dumbbell again. Bring your arm up so that your arm's as high as it will go. Then you bend your elbow so that the dumbbell comes behind your shoulder. And then straighten up towards the ceiling and then back down. Straighten up and then back down. So what we want to do is bend our elbow as much as we can. And then straighten up so it's completely straight and then come back down. So this exercise is the dumbbell front raise. So we take hold of the dumbbell and bring it up so it's at our shoulder height with our palms facing the floor. Then from there, we let the dumbbell slowly come down so it's almost touching the bed. And then up to shoulder height and then slowly down. Up to shoulder height, slowly down. And a key tip for this is to try and keep your elbow as straight as you can the whole time. So this exercise is the side shoulder raise. So we're gonna take hold of the dumbbell like this. Then with your arms straight out to the side, you can let it come just below the side of your bed. You're gonna bring it up so that your arm is parallel to shoulder height and then back down. And then up and then back down. And when you try and when you bring your arm down, try and not let the dumbbell fall too quickly. So you're coming up and then slowly bringing it down, up, slowly bringing it down. So this exercise is the shoulder external rotation. So we're going to hold on to the resistance band. We bring our arm up so it's at shoulder height and then rotate your arm backwards behind you as much as you can and then slowly come down back towards your feet till your arm is parallel to the floor and then rotate up, pulling towards behind you and then down. And same as before, trying to do each movement with a nice slow tempo. So this exercise is the high row. So for this one, we're gonna take hold of our resistance band, grip it nice and tight. Again, bringing our arm up so at shoulder height. And then just like you're rowing a boat, I want you to pull your elbow back as far as you can to the bed behind you. And then slowly bring your arm straight out in front, keeping your arm up. And then row back, just like you're pulling the oar of a boat. And then forward and row back.
So this exercise is the reverse fly. So again, we're going to use the resistance band, bring our arm up to shoulder height, and we want to keep our arm as straight as we can. And then imagine you're drawing a semicircle on the floor. You want to do as big a circle behind you as you can, and then bring your arm back across to the middle, and then pull out as far as you can to the side, keeping your arm straight if you can, and then back to the middle. And we want to do a nice big circle. So we're coming right back, back to the middle, right out, back to the middle. We will now go on to lower body exercises. So now we're going to move on to the lower body exercises. So for these we can use our ankle weights which strap around your ankle. Now these are quite tricky to put on so there will be an assistant who you can ask to help put them on your ankles for you. So this exercise is called hip flexion. For this one we're going to try and bring our knee up as close to our chest as we can. So starting on the right leg, we bring our leg up, bending our knee, and then slowly down, straightening your knee out. And then we move to the left leg, bring your knee up as close as you can, and then slowly down. Right leg, up. And it doesn't matter how far up you get, you just want to try and drive your hips, and bring your knee as close to your chest as you can, and then slowly bring that leg back down to the bed. Up as high as I can, and then down and then the other leg up as high as you can, and then down. So this exercise is the straight leg raise. So with our ankle weights attached around our ankles, we're gonna keep our legs straight, lift our right leg up to the ceiling, slowly bring it down to the bed, and then left leg. And then we're gonna keep alternating sides, keeping our legs as straight as we can, come up to the ceiling, slowly down, up to the ceiling, slowly down. So this exercise is called hip abduction. For this one we're going to have our ankle weights on again. We keep our legs straight together and then we're going to bring our right leg out to the edge of the bed and then back to the middle and then alternate left leg out to the edge of the bed, keeping our legs straight, back to the middle. Out, back in, out, back in. Don't go too far, just so your foot's almost off the edge, and then back together. So this exercise is called static quads. Now there's not a lot of movement involved in this one, so you're gonna to have to watch closely. So what I'm going to do with my right hand is put my hand underneath my knee. I then squeeze the muscle in my thigh to straighten my leg as much as I can and push my hand down into the bed. You then hold that for 10 seconds. And then relax. And then we do the same on the left leg. So I can put my hand underneath my knee, squeeze my leg, straighten it out as much as I can. Hold for 10 seconds. and then relax down. So in this exercise we're going to be exercising our ankles. So with both feet together I want you to pull your toes up towards your head and then push down into a tiptoe position. Pull up, push down, pull up, push down. And when you're pushing down, pointing your toes as much as you can and then pulling up squeezing your toes up towards your head and then away. That is the end of our exercise. I hope you have enjoyed it. The following tests will help to assess your mobility and strength as you go along this exercise programme. You will perform these tests before the start of your exercise programme and at certain intervals according to your therapist's advice. These will be monitored so your therapist is able to track your improvements after doing these exercises. So this test is called the 30 second stand test and the idea of this is to test the strength in your legs. So what I'd like you to do is cross your arms so your hands on the opposite shoulder. Stand with your feet on the middle of the chair so you can feel the chair on the back of your legs. And then when the assistant starts the stopwatch they'll say go and I want you to sit down and stand up 
as many times as you can within 30 seconds. So this test is called the timed up and go and this is to test your leg strength and your cardio ability. So I want you to start sitting on the chair with your feet shoulder width apart. When the assistant says go, I would like you to stand up, walk to the marker on the floor, turn around, walk back to the chair, turn so that you can feel the chair on the back of your legs, sit down and then the assistant will stop the stopwatch.